about uh, video integration. Um, right now I'm using a Kentec Entrapass Special Edition. Video integration is available with any of the Entrapass Edition that can be the demo version, special edition, corporate edition, global edition. So you log in your Entrapass and then you go to the tab Video. You click on Video Server. Then you click on New. Remember to give a name to your integration. I'm going to call this one Exact. So I'm going to use an Exact DVR. DVR. Um, now let's take a look at video server brand. We have American Dynamic. We have Exact. On American Dynamic, we have IntelliX, HDVR, TVR. Um, those are in case of special edition. In case of corporate, we have more. As we can see in here in corporate, we have mm. still have IntelliX, all the IntelliX, HDVR, TVR. Additionally, we have NVR, we have Video Edge, and we also have Victor available. Okay, now on the exact, if we select exact, which is the integration we're going to do now, we have from exact 8 to 128, practically all available exact NVR. Now what do we need? We're going to need the IP address of the video server and the logging information, meaning username and password. Uh, let's take a quick look on our demo. Here on that screen, you have different demo available to you guys. Uh, we're going to use the exact one, this one. Here you have demo for username and demo for password. IP 108.179.8.118. All right, so let's start. 108.179.8.118. Again, demo, username, demo, password, demo, password. That's pretty much that set. So we save. Then here, it is the time to confirm if we connect to that video server. Yes, it seems so. It's asking me now because look at my white. I have camera zero. After the connection, it will update. As you can see now, I have six. So that video server I'm connecting now has six cameras available to it. Okay. Now, we have a bunch of new icon added to that screen. Before we just had the two icon video seven camera, but now we have a lot of more. So we have the six camera. Now let's create a video view and check if we have video coming. So I go video view, new, give a name, uh, test, test camera. Click here to modify video view. I can have multiple video view. I can have with one camera, four camera, nine camera, sixteen camera, the way I want. So I drag one camera and I'm hit test. Yes, it's quite early though. Uh, all right. So I test several camera. Of course, I could test all of them at once. Okay. Now, I have a video view, and we know not only we have connection to that camera, but we also have video coming to that video server. I mean. So we have one video view. I can create multiple video view, of course. I can also create different integration, for example, we did one with an exact. You know what? Let's let's do another one. Uh, this time, let's do one with a. Um, we have an illustrator here. We have an a TVR. 
108, 124. Let's take a look at that one. Same process. New TVR demo. This time we're going to American Dynamic and TVR 108, 108, 179.8.124, if I recall. 124, demo and 999, 94 time for password. Demo, 9999999. Let's see if we connect. Of course, you didn't see the step, but before I complete, I start that process for integration, I had to make sure I have the port added to my firewall. For example, TVR, you can see the port is 8000. Exact, the port is, um, take a look. Let's see if I select the exact one, is 22609, 22609. All right, so I have 16 cameras now for the TVR. Let's take a look. We're going to create a video view. TVR. Cam. Of course, I select TVR. And I have the TVR. I do have a TV channel feed coming. Okay. So, let's take a look at South Corner. So, we're good. And back to ESPN. Save. So, I do have two TV, two video server, two different video server added to my system right now. And, of course, you've been asking yourself, what else can we do? Um, let's take a look. In Special Edition, we have four desktop. I'm going to assign desktop four for camera. And I can say video view. Okay, and go. The first time, it's not going to select by itself. And since I drop down, it does. I will do so it can fit. And as you can see, I have my view. So uh, let's say I'm in my system. I can see what's going on. People coming in, people getting out. I have Alex coming, and if I want to take a quick look at the camera, I can do that. Just click on the, and of course, I can select different one. All right. Of course, we have way more. Um, the integration is not only to view camera but it's also allowing us to link them. So now, pretty sure we, we complete the integration part. Let's take a quick look on some advanced programming. For example, first let's make sure I have my door working. I'm going to press a button, make sure the door open. Okay, now let's say I want whenever somebody push the exit button, I want to see the camera. How do we do that? Mm -hmm. We're going to go devices door, drag my door, here I'm going to look for the camera. Let's make sure, let's say it's um, front door or exit. So I have the camera linked to the door. Number two, I'm going to system event parameter. What that's going to be, that's going to be exit 
request to exit that's going to be. So let's look for the event. Request to exit granted. When somebody push that button, add that specific door and it has request to exit granted. I also want an alarm. All right. So we're moving forward, moving forward. And then, of course, then let's not forget to, in the operator, I need to add the permission for automatic video display. After I've done that, since I make a change at the operator, I need to log out and log back in for the change to kick in. Now, let's see if we good. Here we go. I just press the button and I have the camera. Of course, I'm going to reduce that. Mm -hmm. That's it. So we have integration between access control and video system. Of course, I could do the same if I had uh, DSE integration. The same, um, for example, when I came here, system event parameter here, I just see event because I only have um, the Kentech access control there. But if I had quickly an integration with intrusion, uh, we have integration with Bentel, Maxis, PowerSeri Neo, PowerSeri. We also have integration with FirePanel, Simplex. Um, so we have some other video to help you on that. Now, let's move on. Say, I do a quick integration. Select. Just to show you rapidly. Always add the correct name. That save a lot in having a good programming. So now if I go back on system event parameter, look, I have now category that I didn't have before. So I have entry pass and I have DSC. So I can do the same thing. Let's say if I want on, if I have a zone in alarm in DSC, zone alarm, select the zone, I can pop up the camera. Of course, I will have to, here I select zone 1. Remember what I did um, for the door before? I have to do the same thing. I'm going to go devices. I'm going to select zone, zone 1, all right, and I will link the camera. So the camera we have at zone 1. So whenever that zone 1 is in alarm, I will have a pop-up. The camera will pop up and I can see. Okay. And what else? There is a lot we can do more. For example, we can link a video to the alarm. I'm sorry. We can link a sound in case the operator is away from his desk or is not for some reason is on the phone and it doesn't see the pop-up, you can have a, an alarm. Um, so I go, here you have a bunch of options for alarm. You select the one you want, and then pretty much whenever we have an alarm, you will be able, the operator will certainly be able to look to hear. Uh, let's take a quick example. I think I like that one better. Right. Okay, guys. Um, of course, please take a look at the application node because on the video integration you have a lot more. For example, we can program it to record not only to pop up the camera but also to record, let's say, one minute before, two minutes after, the way you want. It's amazing what you can do. I'm hoping this video will help you.